Okay, guys, this is just a quick shout out. I bought one, I got Berlinski's books. One of them is The Devil's Delusion, which is showing on screen. And the other has to do with elementary mathematics. But it's the guy's writing style, which is so sterling. Um, so I'm going to read part of it. I mean this as an ad. If somebody thinks that there's a copyright issue, please let me know. I did buy the book. It's in my Kindle for PC library. And this is page six of it. Okay. We're going to start, I guess, here. The point of this page is the religification of people of science, how religious they are about how scientific they are. And I didn't know that they were like this. I'm sure not all scientists are like this, okay? I, I've never met a scientist who is religious, you know, religious about his scientists, about his science. Every scientist I've ever known my whole life, they've always been very cautious. So this is a, an aspect I'm not, I'm not seen among, you know, with any living person. And it tells me a lot, but first let me read it. Contrary to what many anti-intellectuals maintain, I'm sorry, this stupid thing with Kindle is getting in the way. Every time I click on a page, I, I don't know how to get, ah, start over. Contrary to what many anti-intellectuals maintain, that's supposed to mean the layman, okay? The biologist Massimo Piliucci has written, Science is a much more humble enterprise than any religion or ideology. Do you see how arrogant a statement that is? Science! As if there was such a thing as one science. science the word science is used in lieu of God, okay? And you have to understand, I really believe in scientific endeavor. I engage in it all day long with numbers, okay? So this just cracks me up. Science is a much more humble enterprise than any religion or other ideology. See, when somebody makes a statement that's sweeping like this, that's not a scientific statement, okay? That there's nothing scientific about that statement. It's his opinion, Piliucci. It's his opinion. And he's stating it as if he might as well be Catholic about his science. Okay, this is a dogmatic statement. It's the last thing a true scientist would ever do, is make dogmatic statements. But wait, it gets better. Yet despite the outstanding humility... <laughs> of the scientific community. Anti-intellectuals persist in their sullen suspicions. See, that means us. We're, we're suspicious of science. Scientists are hardly helped when one of their champions immerses himself in the emollient of his own enthusiasm. And this is who, we, who he's talking about. Thus, Richard Dawkins recounts the story of his professor of zoology at Oxford, a man who had for years passionately believed that the Golgi apparatus was not real. On hearing during a lecture by a visiting American that his views were in error, he strode to the front of the hall, shook the American by the hand and said with passion, my dear fellow, I wish to thank you. I have been wrong these 15 years. <clears throat> The story, Dawkins avows, still has the power to bring a lump to my throat. It could not have been a very considerable lump. <laughs> no similar story has ever been recounted about Richard Dawkins. See, the, the, the deft writing style, the deft satire of Berlinski when he writes. This is just, ah. Uh, God, once a century you get to get fine writing like this. Quite the contrary. He is as responsive to criticism as a black hole in space. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
Now he's going to quote Dawkins. It is absolutely safe to say. <laughs> you see the dogma in that statement, don't you? This is guy Dawkins is supposed to be a scientist, okay? A true scientist never says more than the data suggests. Okay? We have Pinucci here making a dogmatic statement here. Okay? And then we have our boy Dawkins here saying, it is absolutely safe to say. Oh, really? Absolutely, huh? He has remarked that if you meet somebody who claims not to believe in evolution, that person is ignorant, stupid, or insane. The tone is characteristic. He's saying it's characteristic of Dawkins, but it's also characteristic of the field. Are you getting this? These are big names. Massimo Piliucci. Okay, Richard Dawkins, of course. And then we come to Peter Atkins. Peter Atkins, professor of chemistry at Oxford University, and he, too, is ardent in his atheism in the course of an essay denouncing not only theology, but poetry and philosophy as well, he observes favorably of himself that scientists, get this, are at the summit of knowledge, beacons of rationality, intellectually honest. It goes without saying, Atkins adds, there is no reason to suppose that science cannot deal with every aspect of existence. I hope you realize, oh golly, I hope you realize that when you have blanket statements like this by people who call themselves scientific, they are as anti-scientific as they can be. They are positively dogmatic religious. This is how religious people talk. Okay? Absolutely safe to say that if you meet anybody who claims to believe that evolution is, is not true, that person is ignorant, stupid, or insane. Absolutely safe to say? Really? Absolutely safe to say. That's Dawkins. He's religious. Piliucci, a much more humble enterprise than any religion or other ideology. I'm sorry about this nonsense with Kindle. I don't know how to stop it from doing this stupid thing. All right? Much more humble than any religion. You realize how arrogant that is. The opposite of humble. He's just proving, he, he's making science look arrogant. Okay? And so is Dawkins. It's absolutely safe to say that if you meet somebody who claims not to believe in evolution, that person is ignorant, stupid, or insane. Yeah, and how scientific is that? Did he, like, examine and talk to every single human on this 9 billion population planet? And did he survey all of those who don't believe in evolution? And did he, have, did he have a psychiatrist along to test them for whether they were ignorant, stupid, or insane? No. So who's ignorant, stupid, or insane? Dawkins. Okay? And then this is even worse. Okay? Just unbelievable. All right? Scientists are at the summit of knowledge beacons of rationality and intellectually honest. I want you to know this kind of language was very common in what's called a paean, P-A-E-A-N. That was a, a sort of laudatory speech that a paid rhetor rhetorician would make to an emperor upon his accession to power. You are the beacon of rationality. You are intellectually honest. Honey, if you have to tell me you're intellectually honest, you're advertising that you're not. I'll be able to tell if you're intellectually honest by your words. I don't need you to tell me how good you are. If you have to tell me how good you are, you're no good. We are at the summit of knowledge. That means that you have no knowledge. Beacons of rationality means you're in the dark. Intellectually honest, it means that you're intellectually dishonest. Do you wonder why people 
look at so-called scientists like these guys and say, oh, okay, they face palm and go back to their old sixes and sevens. And then he goes, there is no reason to suppose that science cannot deal with every aspect of existence. Science is, after all, the apotheosis of intellect and the consummation of the Renaissance. See, these guys are trying to create an alternate god named science. There's no conflict between religion and science, or at least not between Bible and science. I can't speak for the other holy books. Okay? But these guys are trying to create a conflict, and they're turning science into a god. Do you know what happens in history when this kind of stuff happens? Every single time in history, when somebody's tried to turn science into a god, Science ends up going in the toilet. It's happened over and over and over in history. You never want to talk like this. It means that science is at a low ebb. It really does. And that's what scares me. It's at a nadir rather than an apotheosis. Do you know what apotheosis means? Rising to the God level. Damn. Apotheosis means that you... Apotheosis is what a human does when he goes from being a human to being a god. That's what apotheosis means in, in, in Greek and in English. Okay? Science is the apotheosis of the intellect and the consummation of the Renaissance. That's a religious statement, and it's an arrogant one. And look at, look at how Berlinsky calls it. These comical declarations... See how deft he is? You gotta get this book. I think it was like eight dollars on Kindle. Anyway, I gotta stop now because you know I don't want to do more than one page. One page will qualify as an advertisement, so that I don't violate copyright rules. Get the book, okay? Peace out.